Yo, dude. What day is it? It's October. Dirty magazine day. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dirty Magazine Day. Today, we're going to be looking through a magazine called Play Drive. Uh, I've never looked through one of these before. This one is from 2006, May 2006 to be exact. Why am I looking through this? Well, it's got uh, Suzuki SX4 and the Boon X4 in it. And uh, one of uh, my uh, followers, fans, uh, associates, um, people I talk to, has a boon and um, was interested in them. So I got a magazine. I'll actually be sending him this magazine after, uh, after I'm done with it here. After we've done with it. And uh, he can keep it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. We've got Old Mate on the front with a, uh, looks like a Lancer Evolution there i don't know who he is or i'm not into rally really at all so i don't i'm not going to know that much about what's in this but um yeah let's go through okay over we go right first page what do we got the king maker on dirt um some tires from advan over here we've got tain suspension what's your opinion of tain do you like it or do you think it's crap I've heard I've had mixed reviews. Some people say that it's garbage. Some people say that it's pretty damn good. So I I don't know. I've never had it in my car, any of my cars personally. It is cheap. Um, I'd say that if you're gonna get it, probably get the most expensive one and then hope. Anyway, over we go. Enough about that. Um, we've got the uh, Fujitsubo exhaust system for the WRX. And, uh, is that, yep, Lan Evo there. And over here we have a contents page. I don't know if this book's ever been read before because there's a lot of spring in this page. Okay. Um, the SX4, you've seen this car. I have a couple of them. They're in the, uh, the Choro Q little car style. Okay. Over we go again. Here she is, the Boon X4. This is what um, this is what old mate has. He's got one of these. He's uh, yeah, I don't really know much about it. It's a 936cc turbo four-wheel drive, as you can see here. So it isn't actually a K car. It is quite small though, from Daihatsu, the X4 high-grade pack. Interesting. Let me know what you think. It's got a nice uh, hood scoop on there, a bonnet scoop. Reminds me of the H chassis Alto Works. Over we go. Yeah, she wasn't cheap. I've got to keep pulling on this magazine. I'm going to have to bend it. There we go. I had to. Had to do it. So at, um, at just over $20,000, they weren't cheap new. But uh, yeah, I mean, here's the, here's the lineup of them. I'll zoom in best I can and you can have a look at those there. Yeah, so that's that. Interior bits. Over we go. The engine. Well, looks like we've got 98 kilowatts. I'm not sure whether they've got kilowatts written here when Japan uses uh, horsepower or PS. Weird. Not sure why they did that, but uh, it is what it is. So, water spray. So here's this button. It's got a button on the dash, which is really hard to, to buy. Really hard to buy. If you want to order one, they have to custom make it for you, which is ridiculous. This is just a button that sprays water on your intercooler for you. This button is the reason I know about this car, because uh, Old Mate is looking for the button. It's got this little uh, tachometer here. Obviously, we've got brakes, drums, drum brakes and uh, disc brakes. Yep, LSDs, uh, transmissions, four-wheel drives, over here, uh, yep, DRS, baby, a turbo, and a three-puck clutch, it looks like a lightweight flywheel there, okay, keep on cruising, keep on cruising, 
There she is inside, full roll cage. Looks like we've got some aluminium plate on the floor. Sparko seat, which is interesting because Sparko is not popular in Japan. You, uh, you can't use a Sparko seat when you register your car on the road. They don't like them. Yep, it's all pretty race car-ish. We're going rally style mud flaps. The rear LSD. Yep. Okay, over here, dash and carbing. Carbing. Carbing? I'm not sure what carbing is. We've got tower bars, bash bars underneath. Lots of little things. Cusco D Sport. Yep, okay. Keep cruising, keep cruising. The SX4, there she is, unveiled. The WRC car from Suzuki. Yep, 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 yep. The SX4, we're looking interiors. It's an, it's, why is that on the wrong side? Okay, maybe it was weird. Okay, just ignore that. Interiors looking pretty, yep. Very tool drive, auto and lock. It's got a six speed by the looks of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's got a six speed. It's showing you how the IAWD system works. So that's kind of interesting. Engine controller feeds the four drive controller, which locks the rear diff. It's got a center coupling. Okay. All right. I don't like those so much, if I'm honest. Over we go. Suzuki SX4. More details, more pictures. We've got a bit of carbon fiber here with some uh, useless mirrors. Yep, not really sure why you'd bother. Lightweight, maybe? It's not like that's going to improve your rear view. But when you're doing rally, you don't really need to look behind you anyway. So there she is, big whale tail. Kind of cool. Not really my jam. Over here, we've got another group of rally cars. We've got a Citroen over here. I'm not a fan of Citroen. I think they're weird. Same with Peugeot. We've got Subaru over here. Yep, not, as I say, I'm not super into rally, so I don't really know what to talk about here. Over we go. A flying Subaru. That's always good. Flying Subarus are good. Over here, we have another Subaru. Land Evo. Yep. Okay. Keep cruising. RN. RN and RB. Mm hmm. Wow, look at the headlights on that. That's dope. Kind of like that. Digging it. Are these different cars? Maybe. They kind of look similar. They probably are the same car, but this one's got the headlights on the, the fog lights on the front of it. Um, the engine, we're looking at engine differences. RB and RN. I'm seeing this air intakey thing going on here where it's not over here. Yep, this is using, uh, this has got a pod filter. This has got the standard style air box. Uh-huh, carbon happening here. And we've got, we're talking about the exhaust manifold here versus this one here so I guess this one's probably more hardcore you might say this is more rally in my opinion whereas this is kind of just like take it from the showroom and drive it it kind of looks like that's not high performance and even if it's STI it's still not going to be um, used for professional rally I wouldn't have thought, but then again, I'm not a uh, rally expert. We've got some spare gas by the looks of it, and some bracing with a rooted spare wheel. Okay, over we go, over we go, over we go, over we go, over we go. Over we go. Oh, we've got more comparisons here. The body, going around the body, we've got, looks like fully, is they fully adjustable? 
No, maybe they're just made out of different material. Um, lower arm bar, we're talking about here. Different diffs. Oh, what's that? Is that a... He's got a temperature... Looks like a temperature gauge or an oil cooler in the rear diff. That's pretty cool. I want to do that to the Alteza, but it's not easy to do. You need a pump and things, and uh, that sort of stuff in Japan is not easy to come by. I found a full setup, but it was $700. I couldn't justify it. Um, I would like to know how hot my diff oil is getting, though, so... Yeah, maybe in the future I'll, I'll fit a cooler and an a oil temp gauge or something. That really would be cool. Um, over this page, we got sorry, we got brakes. We're doing uh, vented and slots here, and we've got just regular old stuff over here. Over here, we've got a whole bunch of text and Alex. Yep. Okay. Yep. Keep going. JRC topics again. I'm not really into rally, so yep. You can. Um, yep. Is, is he having a sleep or is he praying? I'm not really sure. Interesting. Mm-hmm. We've got a bottle. Looks like a bottle of tea here. Bottle of tea. In case he gets thirsty. Over we go. The championship contractor. Over here. Yep. Nope. Dunno. Subaru Rally Team China. Yep. I don't really know. Keep going. An ad, more text, waiting at the special stage, it says. Over we go. Big win. Flying spark plugs. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm, yep, over here. More text. If you could read Japanese, this would be a fantastic uh, magazine to read. There's probably a lot of information in here. We're not going to go through any of it. Over we go. Roll cages. How do you feel about roll cages? What do you think? Bolt-in cages are okay, or do they think? Do you think they need to be welded in? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Do you think bolt-in cages are a death trap, or do you reckon they're okay? That's a topic, a hot topic of conversation. Um, if you don't know. A roll cage is this thing here. It's a... Actually, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we go further along, because I'm sure there's a, a better photo than this. Mm. It's basically a bunch of bars that are strategically placed around the car to add rigidity in case you roll over. Or crash, or whatever. It'll stop you getting damaged. Okay, so we'll try, try and talk a little bit more about that later on. We've got bash bars and stuff under here as well. That's in case you crash into rocks or whatever. It doesn't damage the underside of your engine okay we got over here a black and white page helmets and various things we're going to keep going more black and white rally information yep uh mm -hmm. australian rally of 2006 as i say i'm not very into rally so i don't really know what i'm even looking at i know what the cars are but uh, other than that, not really. I don't know why there's a Lamborghini here, but yeah, whatever floats your boat. Possum Born. I know who that is. Very famous Subaru driver. He ended up, um, he died in a rally car, I believe. Hit a tree. But uh, very, um, a very famous and successful rally driver, Possum Born. Okay, over we go. I think it's from Australia or New Zealand. Might be New Zealand. We're airborne, and we have a lot of text. So we're going to keep going. FF Machine. Yep, a Honda. Is that an Integra? It is. Integra Type R. Right. Here we have a uh, Celica. I can tell by the lights. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay. Over we go. Uh, Celica. A newer Celica. And Integra, DC2, DC5, CA4A, Mirage. Okay. Another Mirage, which I think that looks like a Lancer to me. 
Yeah, in Australia, we call that a Lancer, not a Mirage. We've got the EG6 Civic and the EK4 Civic. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, keep cruising, keep cruising. More black and whites. That looks like a GT Starlet. It is Toyota Starlet there. EK9 Civic, EP3 Civic. I stopped caring about Civics after that one. So I don't know anything about the newer generations. Even, you know, as new, as old as the EP3. I don't know anything about that car at all. We have an EP82. Very, very cool. Like those. EP91. I like those as well. Yingbot, if you're watching. Hi. Hi. Um... I don't think Yingbot's going to watch this, but, yep, Starlet's. Yingbot is a big Starlet fan. Check her out on Instagram. She's a she's a, a girl who likes cars and actually goes to racetracks. So, super cool. Check her out. Toyota Vitz. Yo. Um, shout out to uh, Pio Pio for the Toyota Vitz. It's in here. The SCP-10 Vitz. The NCP91 Vitz. Which one do you have? Now, if you're wondering what these are, the SCP10. If you find the blue plate in your engine bay, engine room, it will have a number, a set of numbers and letters on it will tell you what kind of car you have. It will be the first first group of numbers and letters of your VIN number or your Shatai uh, Bango in Japanese. So, yep, have a look at that and uh, let us know. What do we got here? FF 1300 Machines 1300. K11, K101S. K101S. Okay. Um, uh, Storia. Storia. Mm hmm. Okay. I've seen those before, but I thought it was called something else. Um, but it, the name's not coming to me. Doesn't matter. K11 March. I'm a fan of the K10 March. Oh, look, EP82. It's here too. I don't know why. There must be some connection between the two. Probably rivals. Anyway, over we go. Right, what have we got here? This looks like a Focus Ford. Oh, it's a Ford Fiesta. And another Citroen down here. This is a, a Jazz in Australia or a Fit in Japan. Here's your Swift GA2 City. AE101. Uh, AE101, AE111. I'm about to do quad throttle bodies on the Alteza. If you don't know what that is, uh, look it up. Google it. In, uh, in Japanese, it'd be Yonsurotoru. And you can see what I'm um, what I'm doing, basically. HT that's a, that's a Swift. HT 81S Swift. Hmm, that looks like a, a K to me. I wonder if the K became the Swift. Hmm. No, because no, the Cultus. The Cultus became the Swift. Or did the Cultus and the K have a baby and make the Swift? I'm not sure, because that's a Swift, but it looks like a K. Um, a Suzuki K, not a K car. Okay, anyway, over here, I digress. Keep going through the magazine. We've got a bunch of cars here. $2,000, you're going to have one of these. Um, yep, yeah, that's not a lot of money for a uh, GT Turbo Starlet. That really isn't... I, yeah, bummer. Okay, keep going, keep going. AWC... A, C, D, lately. We like the abbreviations. We do. We do. We've got a bunch of drawings on here. Yep, let's go over here. What are we talking about? We're talking about the torque. It looks like torque distribution. Uh, I'm not reading the kanji. I'm just guessing by the pictures. Uh, yep. Okay, I think we're talking about how the torque distribution works by... Uh, active center di differentials or computers computers control uh, it might be it might be hydraulic but it's probably computer controlling how much power is per wheel so to uh, reduce slip 
yeah, we're using, it looks like we're using center of gravity type thing, gyro, to try to distribute tire spin as well. Hmm. Interesting. It's a later model evolution here. Over here, okay, so we've got uh, more Evos. This one is really, really fast. Um, like someone, an experienced driver in one of these could beat an unexperienced driver in either of these. I've found. Okay, over we go. Over we go, over we go. 2006. Yep. Um, have a look. The ads. Is, yep. Um, so we've got information about... That looks pretty cool, but... Yeah, it's still a Peugeot, still weird, 207. Over we go, studless tires, advertisements, World Rally Championship. The game is coming out. We've got announcements from things, more black and white events, information. Yep. Uh, looks like rally tracks, perhaps. Okay, keep going. Renewal. Something's got a renewal, a website, Soft99. I've used some of their project, projects, products. I have used some of their products. Yeah, not impressed. But um, I haven't really found any better either, to be honest. Over here, Mono. Mono means thing in Japanese. It doesn't mean the, the disease... Yeah, I think they probably call it something else. Over we go. Tires, wheels. No, wheels, not tires. Just wheels. Yet more. This is another shot of a roll bar, a roll cage. Um, studless tires. Uh, oh, movies. This is Transporter. That's uh, that Jason Stratum guy who kicks ass. Transporter. Yep. Okay, keep cruising, keep going, keep going. The RE480R and the RE461R Kai were comparing studless tires or off road tires. Right, so here we've got, I'm not sure what kind of car this is, a Toyota. Mm hmm. I don't know what the I don't know what that thing is. Is that a Celica? Hmm. Not sure. We're comparing grip anyway. More more tire specs than you can poke a stick at. Play drive special impressions. We're talking about drivers. Looks like. Yep. Drivers' opinions of I think that was drivers' opinions of tires. Let's keep going. Car and car. Well, a zest. RX-8. How do you feel about the RX-8? I'm not a huge fan. Saban really is. Zest. Um, brake pads. RX-7. Series uh, Series 7 RX-7, I think it's FD. FD RX-7. Very, very cool. Another one. Shaft. They're popular. I follow them on Instagram. I thought they only did... Uh, R34s though, maybe a long time ago they did uh, RX7s as well. We got an NSX, the, I mean NSXs. Oof. Yes, love those. Who won? Oh, the the RX7 won. Yep. Who? How do you navigate this? How do you remember where to go? That's crazy. Okay, over we go. The N4 class, 2006. Japanese Gymkhana Championship. I went to a Gymkhana once. It was difficult. Like, just remembering where the track went was difficult. Yep. Um, some rally cars. Yeah. I like Integras. Is that a Vitz or is that a an Echo? Hmm. I don't really know. It's a little... I think they might be all... Are they all Vitz? N1 class. Um, yeah, Vitz, 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 they're all Vitzes. Yingbot, it's your class, the N1 class, Japanese Gymkhana Championships, 
Get over. Get it done. Enter. Buy a Vitz and, um, and enter. You should do that. Look forward to the Instagram videos. Oh, anyway, over we... A little bit of a sad moment here. Maybe a happy moment. Hard to tell. Over we go. SA class. So we've got... Oh, a CRX. Cool. Yep, TM works. Mm-hmm. Who would you put your money on here? This is difficult. Who won it? In the C the CRX one. Wow. Holy crap. Or was it this one? Might have been that one. That's it. No, no, it was that one. Holy shit. That beat this? That's impressive. I guess it's really light, isn't it? Yep. It was designed for racing, too. I mean, the CRX. EF8. Yeah. Amazing. That's cool. Okay, over here, the SA3 class. I'm glad this isn't all rally, because I'd be lost for an entire magazine. At least with Jim Carner, I've, I've tried it. Jim Carner, uh, for those that don't know, I'll go back so I can show you this. Basically, they put cones down, and you have to drive as fast as you can around the, the, uh, the cones. And then get back. It might have handbrake turns, it might have, like, side brake. You have to pull the side brake to get around some of these tight turns. Um, high speed. It, it could be anything, basically. Looping around a car park. And it's a it's a time trial, basically. You go around the cones as fast as you can. That's what a Jim Carner is. Look, see how close we're getting here? Um, yeah, so it's, it's basically like a car park rally. If maybe that's a best explanation. Okay. Carrying on, the SA3 class. Yep, the Lan it's all Lancers here. Here we've got a bit of a mix in the SA2 class. Who won it? Uh, an Integra, GD Integra. We've got an S2000. I would have put the S2000 beating an Integra, but um, you don't. You just never know. I mean, this the engine in this is the B18C, and uh, that's uh, a very very uh, famous, popular, high-powered engine, so fantastic engine. So yeah, there you go. Then again, it might just be the driver is fantastic, who knows. Over we go! What do we have here? We've got a whole bunch of Lancers, again, in the SC class, down here, D class. Okay, so you take these open wheelers round the... Okay, yep, open wheelers on a Jim Carner course. Right, over here, another shot of a roll bar slash roll cage, you can see. Seats, see that? There you go, yep, you can see. This is called a tower bar for those playing at home that don't know what's going on. This is the, the point where the suspension bolts to the body of the car at the top, right? This, this bar here is a connection point for those two suspension points at the top so that when they push up when the suspension goes or well, the wheel goes up it pushes the suspension up you don't want the body flexing like this right you don't want the body flexing like that this is a tower bar it's to stop the body from flexing when you go over a big bump or a big uh, like a, a big wave a wave like this when you go down it's going to compress all of your suspension back up into the car and potentially, maybe, put pressure on the body of the car, forcing it that way. So you have the tower bar to stop that. Although once you put a full cage in, like uh, what some of these cars will have, this none of these actually have a full cage. Well, that would That might be considered a full cage, but it doesn't have the the diagonal from the roof down to this point here. Once you have that, you don't really need this anymore because your whole, I mean, you've braced the whole car rather than just relying on the towers. Okay, over we go. We've got another Jim Carner course. So you start there, you wiggle your way around there, over, round, up, down, over, figure eight, and then stop. I'd probably have trouble with that even. We've got details on how it was all laid out, organizers, 
um, SW20 MR2, Integra, CT9 Lancer, FD, FD, oh lady, there you go. Okay, over you go. Tires, kissing tires, hugging tires, wonderful. Uh, M Art Dunlop, FBS Lancer. I'm, I have a thing about putting BS in any kind of branding or advertising because no matter what happens, I always see BS as bullshit. So if you have FBS, I instantly see fucking bullshit. So it's the fucking bullshit Lancer. It could be the fastest Lancer in the world, but I still see fucking bullshit. Can't help it. Okay, it's a good looking thing. Check it out. What do you think? It's a good looking thing. We don't have a tower bar on the rear, but maybe it's not necessary. We have a half cage. A half cage is just a, a, like a, a bar that runs the full, like from the floor behind the driver's seat up to the roof, over and then to the floor behind the passenger seat. Then it braces along the roof and then down the back window. That'd be called a half cage. Full cage would come all the way to the front. So this is going to protect you from a rollover, but it's not going to aid you in like a side impact or uh, uh, basically a front. It's not going to protect you from a front impact either. So you're basically just a rollover bar. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. A red one. It looks nice. A whole bunch of Lancer Evolution parts that we're not going to get into here. A whole bunch of tires. Garage Group 4. Right, okay, yep. Keep cruising. Black and white, we're talking to... I don't know any of these people, but... Uh, yep. Okay, they look like we're talking to drivers. Rally, Dirt Trial, Jim Carner, and Race Drivers. Keep going. Yep, we're still interviewing people. Um, we've got our... Gebunsha, Gebunsha, whatever that is, something, some kind of, I'm not sure, check it out, what do you, th yeah, check it out, check that out, let me know what you think of it in, well, let me know what it is in the comments, I'm not going to check, you tell me what it is, let's go, some black and white advertising, Boon X4, what have we got, we've got pads and a tower bar, Impreza Civics, Okay, keep going. Wow, what do we got? We got shop lists. We don't need to hang out here too long. Shop lists. I just saw D Soldier. It's D Soldier. CB Sports. There is lots of conversation in this magazine. DC5. A handy scale. Wow, okay, so you can weigh each point of your car. That's pretty nuts. The Boone X4 lift out. Right, so here she is. We've got details on the back. We can open it out. We've got optional dealer options. DRS. Looks like a bigger... Um, Yep, okay. It's a, it looks like a bigger turbo housing, perhaps. Um, whoa, okay, we're actually bigger than the view of the camera. Need to just... Technical difficulties. Okay, we're in. We've got our suspension, looks like. Uh, Five-speed, bonnet scoop, taco, LSD. Okay, and our... Uh, infamous squirter switch over we go onto the back okay back into the center r32 skyline there with the drift king okay keep cruising a subaru we've passed halfway by the looks of it because the magazine's starting to flip back the other way rallying all the things yes 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 actually looks like a car a kind of rig Although it's just a yellow, yellow Subaru, so no. Okay, keep going. 
a white Lancer and a bunch of others and E it's a DC5 Integra there I'm gonna have to put my hand on the on the book to stop it from popping up like that another DC5 Integra it's a K what engine is that is that a K20 I'm not sure I digress let's keep going okay Lancers yep 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 looks like initial D advertising um, Hachimaru hero 80s hero nostalgic hero 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 nostalgic hero from the 80s over we go rally Hokkaido route map right we've got more rally more rally all roads lead to Obihiro Okay, I guess that's in Hokkaido. Let's keep going. Mate, look at this thing. Yo, 82. Ah, oh, this thing looks familiar. What is that thing? Someone's going to know. Um, what is this thing? I'm not going to read it and then magically know what it is. If you know what this thing is, I think, I think this thing is actually in... That game I was playing, that I the Art of Rally, I think this is in it. Maybe Nathan will let us know. Pretty cool looking car. Ooh, that looks. Uh, that's an Audi Quattro. Yep, I know what that is. Okay, over here we've got a PD Presence Corner. Ooh, a cassette, a tape. Check that out. Don't make them like that anymore. Over we go. Um. Okay. Yep. Looks like a little bit of uh, touristy stuff. Yep, that's a course map for touristy stuff by the looks of it. Over here. Um, checkpoint. Route. Oh, it's like Google Maps before Google. Okay, keep going. Um, Tour de Izu. Ah. Oh. I wonder if you can just like, if you drive this, it's telling you where to go. And you can follow it, it'll take you to places, like directions. I think that's actually what it is, yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't need Google Maps, you just follow this shit. Hmm. Start there, go straight. Hope they're not, well, is it a time trial or something? Cool. Yeah, I think that's what that is. All right. Nice. Route map. QM. Right. Okay. Keep going. Yep. Some photos. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we're going to keep going. Some stuff for sale. We're talking about the next issue, which is June 2006. Keep going. We've got some uh, websites, some advertising. Here's this Gebunsha dot co dot jp again keep cruising car for sale oh cars for cars for sale yep really these are cheap what is this gc8 impreza for two and a half grand Okay, 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 keep going, keep going. Read his forum, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Here's some events that happened. We've got PD Cup, of more events, winners. What if Kuma's in there somewhere? 2006? Maybe. Don't know. I don't know if he's doing rally back then. He might have been. Okay, keep going. Dirt trial, we've got courses by the looks of it. PD Cup. Yep, okay, keep going. No, I don't know those people. No, I don't know anybody there. Okay, keep going. Looks, results. Jim Carter results. Over we go. Yep. Nope. Don't know anybody here. Okay, keep going. 
Not sure what we've got. In events information. We don't need that because it's already happened. More events information. Don't need that. Um, event. Um, event info. Yep. Event info. We don't need that. We've got a little comic here. I'm going to just leave that there so that for a little bit. So you can pause the video and read that. And then let me know if it's funny in the comments. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, that, that's probably enough time for you to read it, if you can read Japanese. Over we go. We're on the second to last page. It, the beginners, this is a contents page. Wait, did we go the wrong way? Wait, I thought that... What? This is telling... Start, contents. Yo, we went the wrong way. What the hell, man? Okay, so we went the wrong way through the magazine. This is the start. Okay. All right, that's not going to happen again on, on uh, Dirty Magazine Day. So that's something, at least. This is the front cover. How is this the front cover? How do you start like this? This is the cover, right? Mind-blowing magazine, but here it is. We've done it. We've got our Subaru Forest on the back. I quite like those. So yeah, I'm kind of um, blown away by by all of that. Over we go. That is it. That is the Play Drive magazine. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Come on, hit the like button. Press subscribe if you'd like to see the next magazine. I'll see you in the next one. Later.